Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So let's tap into your energy and see what's going on. Now, if you are Scorpio, check out my other channel at Brown Eyes Intuitions, because when I tell you that your overall energy happens to be the freaking same and it's amazing, it's the Ten of Pentacles, a whole new deck. See? What y'all got going on? Ten of Pentacles. This is inheritance. This is long term. This is abundant. Excuse me. This is abundance. Ooh. Ooh. And the freaking wheel of fortune. See? Ooh. Scorpio, look. The wheel of fortune. Something is changing. Ten of Cups. Look at all them cups. Somebody may be regretting something. The Five of Cups. Justice Libra. I see the world and the Four Coins and the Ace of Coins. Ooh, and the Ten of Swords. Libra energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpios. The wheel is turning. You got the 10, 10. You got the 10 of cups and the 10 of coins. You got the money, honey, honey, money. You got Libra energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. Balancing the scales. Oh, that's beautiful. The sun. This is a pretty deck. It's, it's called a tattoo deck. Leo energy. Leo right next to the, uh, the justice right next to the sun. Something is turning around in your favor, Scorpio, drastically. Th things that no longer serve you or the things that you have lost. There's no comparison than what you're about to gain. Time, Scorpio, it's time for you to be happy. Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oof. The Tower. Somebody's crown may be coming off. Look. Somebody's crown is being... <laughs> Probably this one, this King of Wands in the reverse, but I'm going to take it upright. But you also got the Six of Wands and the Six of Coins. And there go the freaking King of Swords. And the Knight of Cups. So once again, you're probably dealing with the Emperor, probably. And then for some of you guys, you may have multiple people. You may have a fire sign and a air sign. Earth sign here. There's a lot of abundance in every area of your life that's happening, Scorpio. It is time, don't you know? For some of you guys, if you were struggling financially, things are turning around in your finances. If you were struggling in your love life, in your family life, things are turning around and brighter days are here for you with the sun card. I feel like this is going to be so massive, Scorpio, that you're not going to see it coming. OK, this is what I'm getting. Something is so massive. You got you got gifts from the universe that are coming in so massive that it you're not going to. So, some of you guys, it's going to be a total shocker. Now, it represents the type of relationship you are about to in, come in that you or, or somebody that you're dealing with may be about to shock you. Somebody may come to you with an offer that's going to change your life. Some type of work proposition that everybody's going to end up being very, very successful in. Spirit could be sending, some, sending somebody in your life that's going to help you grow your business or, or reconcile your family differences. Somebody may be coming in to gift you a home. Somebody may have inherited a fat ass bank account along with a home too. That dang it, because you got the justice card. We saw that King of Swords could be a lawyer about to reach out to somebody pertaining that, that you got something. 
So for somebody, somebody's going to reach out to you, letting you know that you have inherited money and a home. Because things are turning around in your favor. This is this is the time for you to prosper. This is the time for somebody to own their own home. It's like it's your time to live. It's your time to live abundantly. Especially if you have been struggling financially. It's, it's your time to, to see how the other side is, is. You know what I'm saying? You're on the other side of karma. You're on the good, the, the, the good part. So let's see here. Let's start with this tower here. Scorpio energy. Why is the tower here for Scorpio? Clarify the tower. Ooh. The Empress is... <laughs> Once again, for some of you guys, you are a tower for somebody, okay? And then for some of y'all, you may be about to find out that you are with child here, okay? Or somebody's going to rush in here. About money. Somebody could be really trying to get your attention about money. Why is the tower and the empress here? Scorpio and Libra. What's going on with this tower? With this Empress. Two of sticks. Planning. The world. You got the world in your hand. Or you got, the, you got access to the world, Scorpios. There's something about to take place. Or something is already taking place. Somebody's going to have to move. To, somebody may be about. To, somebody may have to move. Somebody may have to move. Because of natural disaster here. And, and little do you know that it's going to either put you in a relationship or put you in your own home that I feel like is yours. Why is the tower here? Moving towards peace. Moving, moving to after fire. Somebody may have had a fire. And you're going to get everything. And it's like you just don't know it's about to change things for you. What's up with this tower with the six of swords? What's going on here? And you think that you don't know that the three of pentacles want to come back out. And you may have somebody here that's. Somebody may have to make up their mind about their where they work in it too. Give me another card for this. Hold on. All right, Scorpio. I had to let my daughter in to get my grandson here. So this is weird. Oh, this is a truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody maybe, oh, I hope this ain't it. Is somebody finding out something here with the Ace of Swords? Or you may be having an epiphany. You may be deciding that you're going to move on away from mess. You may have finally found peace in a situation or in your life because I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is going to change a lot of things. Some of you guys are going to get out of stagnation because it's just time. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? You got Three of Pentacles twice. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Scorpios? All right, so now you got the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Woof. Five of Swords. Three of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords. I'm thinking there's something that came out here. Somebody may be finding out about somebody liking you on the job or you're finding out something. Three of Coins. See, you got the Three of Cups. Here. Why is the Three of Coins here? The Five of Swords. Three of Coins, Five of Swords. Mm, they go to Ten of Cups. So it could be somebody, try, see, and they go, somebody's trying to bring the harmony back into a situation. Here's what it is, okay? So somebody, once again, feels like they're going to have to work things out with you if they want you because you're the freaking empress. If they want that Ten of Cups or somebody wants to bring the happiness back into your union here. 
Three of coins. Why is the three of coins here? Three of pentacles. Go that freaking three of cups again because so far I feel like I feel like somebody's saying this in the reverse. I feel like what there's what they're saying is that no one is somebody's not with you now, okay? And it is affecting them. So if they was not a team player in the past, somebody realized they're gonna have to do what is right to mend this connection because you do have justice here, as well as this king of wands. But you also had a five of cups here. So why is the five of cups here for Scorpios? Clarify the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. Somebody is no longer stuck. See, like, I feel like if you were stuck on a situation, or maybe somebody is no longer in their head, somebody may be, may, may be over something else, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? With the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Leo said, so see, somebody's moving on. Somebody's no longer stuck in their head. Go ahead, it's in the refrigerator. Just one more left. <laughs> see, somebody is moving on. Somebody may be sad or no, I feel like somebody's not going to deal with the regrets no more, okay? Especially as this Empress. So some of you guys may be having a major wake-up call in your own life that you're choosing you, Scorpio. You're choosing you. And you're whatever restraints you had, you're breaking free and you're moving the hell on. And like I feel like if somebody wants you, they're going to have to catch up. Uh-oh. I dropped all of my cards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hey, they're a distraction to me. See, when, when I know they're in the house, is a distraction because I like to make sure my door locked and all that stuff like that. And then, plus, then I got the daughter there to creep. She'll get to snooping and she'll see this and she'll see that, you know. <laughs> just like I used to do my mother, okay? I'm just saying. All right, the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Could be a Cancer. Ooh, the Sun card. See there? Because the sun is shining on you. See? I feel like you, you're inspired. See there? You're inspired and some of you guys are moving away. I feel like you guys are coming out of the sadness because they're going to Five of Cups again. Okay. Ooh. Five of Cups. Five of Cups twice. Oof. This could have been you and the Five of Cups and your person, but I feel like some of y'all choosing to just let it go and just move on and just release it. See? Because you got a new opportunity here. So this, kudos to you. Some of you guys are breaking free. See? And they go to Ace of Cups too. See? So it seems like to me what is happening is that once you, somebody decides to really let go of a situation is when they're going to get it. Okay, that's what it seems like. Now, what's up with this justice for Scorpio's Libra energy? Clarify justice. Like as soon as you decide to really let it go and really trust the universe, trust that you're deserving of all of this. That's when it's all going to come in. It's all going to It seems like as long as you focusing on it and stressing about it, it don't happen. But as soon as you release it and go on and choose to be be you. Then that's when it happens. See the hermit. It's almost like trusting what you don't see. Uh, introspecting here, searching out things, doing the right thing. It could be somebody here searching you out, wanting to do the right thing or checking themselves out, checking the situation out in order to gain clarity. See, it could be you too. They go to star card, Aquarius energy. That's healing. That's hope. That's inspiration here. See, because somebody clearly is uh, sad. Three of Swords, now either there was a third party here, because like I said, it could have been that too, because I saw something for somebody. But I feel like I feel like you guys may have let it go, and as a result of you letting it go, now you can heal, and now something good comes in. Justice could be somebody feeling like they need to make things right because of heartache and pain. Strength card here, see? Feel like somebody here is trying to work up the courage. Or somebody's trying to build their energy back. But I feel like this is somebody that you're not with. They're observing and taking stock of everything. See, because this person in their feelings, the King of Cups. So somebody may, be, somebody may be observing you and wanting to come back and make things right. Or just like somebody here that's really in thoughts. They're thinking about the whole connection 
and somebody's realizing that it was not a balanced, fair relationship, or maybe they did not do right. Now that you've broken free and you've taken back your power as this empress here, I feel like it could have been something. See, and look at here, see? Justice for the emperor, see? Told you. That emperor finna come back. Knight of Cups, because of all the things that they did, somebody wants to make it right, see? I feel like somebody don't want to run away from this anymore. Because I feel like somebody's realizing that you mean so much more to them than this. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Scorpios? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands. What's up with this Wheel of Fortune with this Knight of Wands? Three of Swords. So something unchanged with this with this non-committal person here. Ooh, I feel like what happened was if somebody ways have turned on them. So if this was somebody here who did not want to commit in the Knight of Wands, now they're broken, okay? Because of the way that they live their life, okay? In my ice maker. See, so a player done got, got their feelings hurt. Now, I don't know if you did this. I feel like this is what it is. They don't like feeling like this. But this is the only way things was going to change with the Wheel of Fortune. They had to feel pain in this energy, Knight of Wands. Because they probably was causing pain. It could be that they were causing pain, so now they're feeling pain. See, eye for an eye. That's the balance of scales, right? Whatever they did to you, now they got to feel it. Mm, see? See? That king of swords, because if that king of swords didn't feel pain, they wouldn't know what it was like, and they wouldn't know how you felt, Scorpio. That's what I feel. Now, for some of y'all, you may have more than one person that's after you, but then again, you do got that emperor. Ooh, that emperor keeps on showing up for you. With the Knight of Cups, so like I say, like I say, somebody didn't, somebody did not know your pain until they started feeling it. Okay, now they're getting it, and they don't like what they feel. All right, the King of Wands for Scorpios. King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. See, the same person here. Somebody may be growing up from that Knight of Wands energy to the King of Wands. Because somebody wants to balance the scales. Karma could be that somebody's getting karma. See, it could be them too. See, the five of wands. And the tower. They're not happy anymore, see? Somebody may be realizing that they're receiving karma. <laughs> oh, snap, Scorpio. That's what it is. Somebody had to, somebody had, I feel like, if y'all done walked away from this person and you, you, I feel like this is what you done done. I feel like you're choosing to not trip about the situation anymore because you can have more than this. Especially when you're loving yourself as the empress. So when you take your power back, if they're in low vibrational energy, it's going to affect them, especially if it's a soulmate connection here. And it probably was some type of soulmate connection, is it? Well, I do see the emperor and the empress. So it's some type of divine lesson here. And with the will of fortune, it's, it's, it's karma. It's, it's what it's supposed to be. You're going to see this pattern, Scorpio. You are somebody's karma, okay? Because if whatever they did to you, it is time for them to get it back. And they don't like it, see? So this tower card, once again, over here, this tower, the tower that they're having, Scorpio, is about you. See? their choices and their decisions. So whatever they're thinking, they're including you. So all of the games that they play because they are in their feelings and pain now, they don't want to feel that no more. All somebody want to do is to move forward and to work as a team, support, you know, support each other, work together because somebody's realizing that you guys are they're happier with you when you guys are together. And they, ain't, they don't feel like nothing when you guys are apart, but it's just because of them. See the nine of cups in the reverse? Mm. So now you got the sun card, Leo energy. Leo, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, 
Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Leo, the Sun card. Why is the Sun here? Hmm. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Somebody feels somebody that there's an opportunity for you guys to really be happy. But I feel like somebody's being enlightened here. You got the Sun card twice. See? They go to Eight of Wands again. See? You already got the Eight of Wands. Is it the Eight? Oh, that's the Six of Wands. All right, the Sun card. All this fire energy. It's this person, this King of Wands. They all fired up. See, they all fired up over you. See? Enlightenment. Why is the sun here? There's a lot going on in this reading. The sun card. It's the king of wands. I go to king of wands again. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. Mm. The freaking ten of pentacles. Okay. So like I said here, I feel like somebody does not want to be in the way that they were towards you. Something has softened them up, okay? I feel like it's their karma. Once again, you are this person's karma. You're the one that's bringing in change in their life. They, they was not expecting this change. Once again, you got the tower twice. Now here's somebody here. One is now, now here they are wanting you back. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. They're going to want you back. But for some of you, you're going to move in a different direction because you got the sun, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of cups with the chariot. I feel like you're no longer stuck on this person here. But like I say, there is an opportunity for a relationship. You got the ten of pentacles here. And you got the ten of cups. So you got them both here. So now your last two cards is the ten of coins and the ten of cups. See? 10, 10, again, all right? That's how y'all getting down. Y'all getting down with them 10s. All right, 10 of coins for Scorpio Wise is here. 10 of coins. 10 of coins, 10 of swords. Oof. Didn't see that coming. 10 of swords. What's up with this 10 of pentacles? Mm. Somebody wants to make it up to you. The Queen of Cups. See? Somebody wants to make it up to you because I feel like this, this will, this lesson, this has been a lesson for your person here. It's a lesson that I feel like they're, they're learning. But I feel like your person here feels like they're not over you. Somebody, somebody's having closure issues. They're not over you, Scorpios. And for somebody, they're coming back to make it right. That is, if you still want them, because you got new opportunities somewhere else. Ten of Cups here. You got the Ten of Cups twice and the Ten of Pentacles twice. So like I said, for some of you guys, you're going to have to decide if you want this person that's coming back in from your past or do you want to move totally in a new direction and be with somebody new because you got it. Like I say, it, it's, look, I can't, I can't choose for you, and I'm not trying to tell nobody which direction, which choice. This is your choice. But what I am stressing is that you got two major art, art opportunities because you got the Ten of Pentacles twice and the Ten of Cups twice is what I'm saying, okay? So with the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, see, it's the honey, money, money, honey again. You're going to have to decide who you spend it with, okay? Okay, so now you got the Ten of Cups. All right, Spirit, watch the Ten of Cups for Scorpios. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Page of Coins. Here comes some good news, some type of offer here. But like I say, for somebody, you may be finding out. Ooh. Ooh, now look at here. King of Cups, see? You got a King of Cups for somebody, and somebody, you got a King of Wands. For some of y'all, you may have multiple people. Like I say, you may have multiple people or you got multiple choices here, okay? Ooh, that King of Cups coming for that Queen of Cups. That Emperor coming for that Empress once again. Ten of Cups. 
They whole foundation been rocked now, Scorpio, because of this will of fortune, because of this karma. Seven of Cups. Just seen the magician. Somebody is full of illusions and full of fantasies about you because they got the star card here too. See, somebody sees you as marriage material. See, they go to Queen of Pentacles. See, see, somebody sees us. That's what you clarifying the Ten of Cups. Somebody sees you as their wife. They see these qualities in you. Remember, we're dealing with the Empress. See, and they believe that things could really, really be successful between the two of you. Ooh, Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? Somebody wants victory, but I feel like with the six of wands, somebody wants victory. If they come in here and be generous to you, for some of y'all, it's a king of swords. They're really, really thinking on this is where they're at. They're in their head, really trying to figure out things now that things have been turned back on them. They have to feel pain in order to feel that maybe they have hurt other people. So, yeah, they're looking at things differently now. They're looking at things more secure now. Five of Swords. What else for Scorpios? Feel like you got a message coming in here. The higher offense, see? Somebody's got a message coming in here, see? Some type of good news, see? See that message? Somebody got some good news coming. The Six of Pentacles is the merchant being generous. You see, you saw the, see, see the Ten of Pentacles here twice. Two of Pentacles. If somebody was dodging you, they coming for you now. It's what I feel like. Whatever, whatever, was, whatever was low vibrational energy is turning around because... Somebody had to feel what you feel, Scorpios. Now they see it from a different perspective here. See? I feel like you had to check somebody. Queen of Swords, once again. See? I feel like somebody ain't never met nobody like you where you done put the whole emperor in their place, Scorpios, okay? I feel like you're the one that checked somebody and brought them back to reality. Once again, Scorpios, you are your soulmate's karma, all right? All right, this is your love reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.